Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today my hair is wonky and I just have it up clipped um, because today I am going to have powder all over my shirt and show you guys how to get Instagram brows. And if you don't know what I mean by Instagram brows, I mean, this is why I have a blank face because we're starting off brows and we're gonna do brows first and foremost, that's it. So, what we're gonna do is carve out the brows. I've done brow tutorials on my channel before, but I haven't done um, like a serious, carved out, perfect looking, Instagram approved brow tutorial. So, that is what I'm going to attempt to show you how to do today. Um, so if you wanna see the products I'm using, what I'm gonna do, then Okay guys, watching. so first things first, I'm going to stick it with my tried and true brow product. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And for this, we're just gonna go in and play a little bit. I haven't really been using my brow products recently mainly just because i've been growing my brows out pretty thick i haven't been touching them at all recently so yeah i'm just playing with this right now just to have it nice and playable if you want to call it that okay First, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring you a little close just to see. These are my natural brows, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to follow the natural shape of the brow. What is really going to be astonishing with this whole thing is um, when you're carving them out, it's really the concealer that gives them a good highlight and makes them stand out so much. Um, and that's not normally what I do on my channel. I usually just do regular brow filling in. So today I'm going to start on this side and I'm just going to start filling it in as I normally would. Now, I like to blend this out with my finger, just because we are on bare skin and I have clean hands. And it's just easier. Blend that out a little bit. Now, this looks extremely dark, but once we get the concealer under there and everything like that, we are going to be golden. So, let's start on the other side. the brow. Here we go. This brow is a little bit more sparse than the other. That's the good thing, people. Perfect example. Everybody makes mistakes. But if you start off with just using brow product, you'll be fine. Like what I mean by that is you don't have any uh, foundation, concealer on yet, you should be fine.
Okay, now that we've got these crazy brows, let me blend this a little bit. I like to pick up the hair a little bit. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to carve them out with concealer. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my all-time favorite concealer. I like it because of the doe foot, so it's going to be really easy to work with. I am putting this on a flat brush because that is going to help us to carve out our brows in the very specific way we want. So I'm going to coat the brush pretty well with this. Okay. And now we're going to start carving. Okay, a carved brow. Now I'm going to take the end of my sponge and just blend. I'm gonna blend this out pretty well. It looks so much better. I like to have a thinner brow. There is one. With the concealer, that's how you shape the tip of your the tail of your brow so do you see how much this brow thinned out and how thick this one is after I put on some concealer it's still a pretty thick full brow however this one compared to this one is just very neat clean so just blend until you're comfortable with it we've got one done that is complete and now we're going to do the other side so I'm just going to take some more on this brush here I'm going to carve this guy out now this one on this side is usually my better brow so hopefully he uh works out just as well as this guy did. We got this one card. Let's take our beauty blender and just start blending it out. Now, I don't want you guys to think that you have to do this every single time you do your makeup. It's truly 
unnecessary. <laughs> um, but if you're going out and you have something to do and you just, you know, want to have fun with it, then by all means, just do it. I took a little too much concealer on this guy up here. Now, that is no problem at all because you could just fill her back in. No big deal. And don't be afraid to like work with your fingers with this. Especially if you have clean hands, then you are good to go. Now, the top of this brow is a little bit thicker um, than this guy. And I actually prefer it a little thicker. In this case, I'm gonna take this guy down a little notch. There we go. That's the good thing with working when you have a clean slate. Is you have a clean face, so you're really just working with product. Which is great. All right, perfect. We have both brows carved and pointed. So right now, this is the final product. And even once I finish my whole makeup because now I look like a crazy wacko psycho man child <laughs> um, with these brows. So I am going to finish my makeup and then I will be right back to show you guys what it is like all completely done. <laughs> okay, so if you want to see what it looks like with completed makeup, right, then guys, just so keep watching. I finished my makeup and I actually turned it into a whole other video um, just because I was really feeling it and I had an uh, idea popped in my, into my head. Um, so I turned that into a whole other video. This is what the brows look like when you have a completed face. Definitely carved, cut, and highlighted to perfection, and I'm just obsessed with them. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked um, this video. Uh, if you have any questions on it at all or want some tips on your brows, then just let me know. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.